Okay, so nasogastric tube insertion is a very common procedure in the ICU in the wards. So, in up to how much centimeter this nasogastric tube should be inserted? So, understand that what should be the ideal position of the nasogastric tube? So, basically, it should be three centimeter to ten centimeter below the lower esophageal sphincter. So, where approximately at the G junction, it should be below three to ten centimeter below that. Why it is important? Because if it is in the if esophagus, if it is not inserted properly, it can increase the chances of aspiration. If we give the bolus feeds like that. If it is too deep, it can go either into the pylorus, into the duodenum, and it can cause dumping syndrome if we are giving bolus feed. Also, it can coil up and come back into the uh, esophagus uh, and again cause aspiration. Secondly, we are measuring the gastric residual volume after uh, before giving each feed. So, it can underestimate or overestimate the gastric volumes if it is not inserted properly. So, how do we know that what amount of length we should insert in that particular patient? So, the, historically, the most common method which is used is next method, nose, ear lobule and ziphi sternum. Some find it difficult to identify this in the end, so they use the reverse method, which is Zen method, ziphi sternum, ear lobule and nose. So, it is found that it estimates correctly only in 72% of the patient. In, uh, in other patients, it underestimates. So, the tip remains in the esophagus, which increases the chance of aspiration. So, what they did is they came up with Zen plus 10. So, they added 10 centimeter. Whatever you find from this measurement, at 10 centimeter, insert up to that point. Now, what happened that it was overestimating uh, the problem. It was overestimating the length and the, it, can, it was getting coiled up uh, or going to the pylorus. So, they did, they did an RCT and in August 2024, the article was published in which they identified a different formula, which stands as next length means nose, ear lobule, ziphi sternum into 0.39, I am rounding off. So, next into 0.39 plus 30.37 centimeter plus 6 centimeter. And they found that 94% of the time, this was accurate. It was going into the proper place. The chance it was uh, not there in the esophagus, and the chance of aspiration was low. And only in 0.5% of the patient, it is going into the pylor. So it was uh, it, a rough idea. It was very uh, useful uh, formula. So I'll make it short. Next into 0.39 plus you can add 36.5 centimeter sort of thing. So I'll mention in the description or in the comment. So we should all read more about it and always confirm the position of X, uh, nasogastric tube by X-ray uh, wherever possible. We should do it. So this is a useful formula. You try in your ICU and will feel the difference. So thank you and do read more about it.